He doesn't like it. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey, everybody. We're back. Welcome to part two of Hair of the Dogcast, episode 29. 29. Josh, what else have you been playing? Oh, I've been playing some shit. You got beer? And while we were gone, we drank our beers. We yeah, did. we did. Well, you didn't. So we have a new beer. Yes. I can't wait you, to you, try this. I'm sorry. And uh, we apologize for any technical difficulties. Facebook I think is Facebook to blame. is having a problem. Yeah. Way to go, Zuckerberg. Yeah. Zucker turd. Oh! oh. Ah, yes. Yeah, Zucker turd. Mm. Yes! Yeah. Suck on them. That balls. was the most clever thing I've ever heard. I know. All right. All day, ever. Here we are with another beer. Oh, yeah. Just today. On the podcast thing. On the podcast of life. Life is a podcast. Yeah. Life is a podcast. I want to record it. I want to record it all, all night, night long. Okay. I always hated that actual song. So what are we doing here, buddy? So what do we, we got, got here, buddy? This is a special beer from Central Waters mm. up in Amherst, Wisconsin. They make some of the best barrel-aged beers on the planet. I'm nice. going to say, black gold, oh my gosh. You ever get a chance to try that? Boop! Mm. Yeah. I've okay. Doesn't that sound I've heard great? that before. No. Doesn't heard that, that sound great? Black I've gold heard that about it. Probably yeah. the best beer I've ever had. It's up right there. Right But uh, Central Waters, we got Cassian Sunset. It's the Brewer's Reserve. Stout aged, aged in oak bourbon barrels with coffee, vanilla bean, cinnamon added to beer. Wow. Yes. So Man, there's stuff a going cacophony. on. There's stuff, a plethora. There's a lot stuff of stuff going on in this a beer. Lot of stuff. Let's see what happens. Let's yeah. have some. Let's do it. I find that to be quite delicious. No, oh, it's very yeah. oh, quiet. Very quite delicious. tasty. Yes. All oh, those that nice, all those flavors that get nice along quite well together. Roasty mm. aftertaste. Let me say. Yeah, that is good. That is good. It's. So, it feels strong. Tom, I came it across this searching on the internet. Uh, yeah, what do you got? Stuff. It's a quite a unique, fun, campy, cheesy, violent game called Shadow Warrior. Oh, Shadow, Shadow Warrior. Warrior. I've heard of that. I have not played that. It's not like the best graphics. It's decent, though, but the game is a lot of fun. Yeah. It's, like I said, campy, gory, cheesy, fun. First person, slice them up, slash shoot them up, right on. slash zombie dudes everywhere so you kill them, and uh, other bad guys that aren't zombie guys, like, uh, what do you call them guys? What do you call call the Asian Mafia guys? Asian Mafias? The Triad? Sure, whatever. So a bunch of them kind of groups yeah. that you're going against. Yep. And you're like this... this you're low wing. Yeah, you're, you're low wing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. But He's, that's they, a rapper, right? Also, it, it, I just found no, out... Low wing. I, it should be Lil, Lil Wayne. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lil, Lil Wayne. <laughs> Lil Wayne's long lost Asian brother. Yeah. Um, but yeah, pretty fun, cool game. That's I just, awesome. I guess there is a sequel. Wasn't even aware. Uh, the first Shadow Warrior came out like that was one of the first games that used the Doom engine. Oh, really? Like, hmm. Back in the day, yeah. And uh, it was really racist, or it would <laughs> had some racial. Yeah, think it, about it. It's out there. Yeah, so I don't <laughs> but, know if they kept uh, some of that stuff in the uh, the remake. Or? Yeah, it's a pretty fun game, and you can get it for about ten bucks shipped off eBay. That's awesome. Nice. So totally worth it. Yeah, it's fun. I played it for about an hour and a half. Uh, yeah, good job. I definitely recommend it. I just found out. There was a limited release of the second one made by some random company. Okay. Not limited run games, but like, you know, like another one that doesn't do as many limited run games, but they released like 3,000 copies only. Okay. So, but they sold out, obviously. Wow. Yeah. I was not aware until Impressive. the other day. Yeah. Hmm. Very cool, man. Yeah. I'll have to um, check that out. So I know I've heard people talk about you it. You want a cheap and... $10 buy? It's a fun sit down and whip it out and play. Yeah. Slice them up. It's really gory. Chopping limbs off. Yeah. It's not the best graphics, but who cares? It's fun. Yeah. So I don't care about that crap. Come on. I want to chop things. Chop things up off of people. Kick chop. It's all in the mind. 
If um, you want to drink me. Yeah. Very cool, man. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to say I've actually played some games myself, finally, for... Oh! By golly. Oh. I found... Yeah, I know. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. Yeah. But, uh, and I, I've been getting my... been uh, really connecting with my, my inner feminine side, because uh, all the games mm-hmm. I've been playing have, all have been female protagonists uh, so like far. Like you. Like me, on the inside. I'm a female protagonist. Uh, such as, uh, there's a game that came out called uh, Hellblade. Uh, Sen was Sacrifice. Oh, yeah. Yes. And it's it came out, I think, at the beginning of August. And it's a download only. It's a $30 game, I believe. And it is a pretty... I don't know what to think of it. It was yeah. a very interesting, interesting experience. It's not your traditional kind of game per se although it is presented as like a behind the back you play this like viking woman warrior uh i watched a video it looks pretty cool yeah and they tell you you need to play with headphones oh really and i oh. actually would say you probably should so huh. the the hmm. the angle with this game is you play as a woman who has her dead boyfriend's head kind of uh, on her belt. So like lollipop yeah, chainsaw? Yeah, yeah it, only it doesn't, well, I don't want to say it doesn't talk to you, but she's she needs, according to Norse myth- mythology or something, she has to take this head and throw it into the depths of hell, I believe, uh, to save his soul. I, he died a, a, a not good death. So, oh. But uh, the angle with it is the woman that you play as suffers from psychosis. And... So she has some, uh, mainly schizophrenia, I believe. Hmm. So she, you through the whole game, uh, you kind of play with that uh, perspective. Is it, like, do you talk to yourself in the game? You have voices, and oh. that's why you that literally you like headphone, headphones. So one will talk in your left ear and the right. Oh yeah, yeah. Good. Oh, There's actually a really good documentary. Cool. There's a documentary that yeah. comes with the game, and they show how they did that. They had like. Uh, so well, I can get to that, into that later, but yeah, you hear voices, and sometimes the voices are encouraging, some of them are not. Uh, you know, you're walking around, and you, and you, the voices is like, "Why is she doing that? Why is she doing that? She's gonna die. She's gonna die. She's stupid." And or, and then they can also be positive towards you. Uh, supposedly, you know, they they hired a Ninja Theory, the people that made this game. They also made Heavenly Sword, uh, mm-hmm. a couple other games, and. Uh, they they hired like a psychologist to be there to really? you know, kind of cool. make sure like you're experiencing the world as someone with schizophrenia or psychosis would. So the whole time you're playing is you don't really have an idea of are you really are you just playing what's in her mind or are you actually on a quest? So it kind of plays with that uh, dynamic. It's very unlike any game I've played uh, in a while, and I I did. Uh, I, I did enjoy it, but at times I was like, "What?" But it's got a lot of good, <laughs> lot of good buzz on the uh, the internet, and the fact that I wanted to support it because the team uh, is a, it's a smaller team. It's like a team yeah. of like less than thirty people that made this, and their goal was to they wanted to make a game that had triple A production values, but also a little shorter experience of an experience, and then charge half the price. I was going to say for it's it. thirty bucks, right? Thirty bucks. It's about I want to say eight to ten hours, which is perfect. You know, I needed a game that I could actually just beat because I've been inundated with all these fucking eighty-hour-long games, and I have beat none of them. And I've just kind of lately, like I just it, it hasn't been scratching my itch. So it was nice to play this game. You need to beat some shit, bro. Yeah. 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 I know. You I'm need sorry, to guys. Beat that thing. I'm sorry, but yeah, I, I wanted to support it no matter what because you know. I, I like that the whole thing of having a smaller team. Uh, I mean, the game is gorgeous. It really is. It looks good, good. looking. You can kind of tell sometimes where the corners were cut, um, such as the combat. There's only about four or five different enemy character like really? models, and but the the combat's really close up. Um, is it fun combat? It's it's okay combat. Simple beat I don't know if you up. ever if you've ever played Rise: Son of Rome, which was an Xbox One launch game. No. Where each enemy has a different way. You got to know like the tricks and the ways to beat him. So if a guy has a shield, they all have like you know you you, you need block to get the sh- behind that shield. Yeah. It's like you, you block need to the shield. Put your sword in his shield. Yep. But 
Right. You block the shield, yeah. you quick do the 180, get behind them, and then kick them, and then the staggers them. So you can do that for all the. That ah. enemy. Um, so the combat, yeah, the combat is okay. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of puzzle elements, and, so, and they, they kind of take off on how you know, people with psychosis see things in the environment. Oh, really? Uh, hmm. And you, there's puzzles that you have to solve by trying to match up shapes on doors like you come to a door and there's like an s something that looks like an s yeah. and then you got to walk through like the, the area that you're in and uh got to find something that looks like an s right right so oh, you'll see like yeah. two trees s, yeah you see like two trees or something and but if you line them up perfectly you know the branches of the two trees will like oh. form an s and then that like you know opens up the door so well, that's kinda cool. uh I, I recommend everyone kind of try it out i don't you know, I don't know if it's everyone's bag, but it, if you're looking for something that's uh, really cool but different, yeah, do it. And like I said, it's you know, it's it's a pretty game. Um, and I've I just started playing the new Uncharted Lost Legacy. Um, oh. Yeah, but I'll have thoughts on that on the next podcast. Oh, the next wanted, podcast. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I just wanted to show people that I've actually played a game. Let's played some games, That's guys. Good. That's yes. good. And I played Woo! some Splatoon. Yay! Splatoon. Played Splatoon. Splatoon 2. <laughs> yeah. Uh, AJ wants a love gun scream. Love gun. Love gun! Jesus. How was that? Yeah, that was I probably awesome. destroyed the mic. That's classic Danny J. Love gun! So people Thanks, that, AJ. People that don't know... Uh, our he's buddy. on the, in the computer. <laughs> he is, yeah. I he's see him on the, the computer. computer, dude. He's right. not on it. He's in it. Oh, oh, uh, that oh, was awesome, I, though. I, okay, thanks. So back uh-huh. in the day, uh, and maybe still in the day, yeah. Dan, Danny, fucking, was in bands, and he could sing, and he can still sing, and yeah, kind of. One of his favorite songs to sing was "Love Gun" by Kiss. Is this correct? It it wasn't my favorite song to sing, but it a, a thing happened it, where I became yes that became it my became nickname. To you. you became the love gunner. Yeah, uh, just really, it was just a misunderstanding, and I became the love gun. And then I decided I had to learn the song. You're my love gun. If that was going to be uh, my name, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, with a voice like that, I've been told Jesus. I have the voice of an angel. <laughs> angel, do you like Bruce Dickinson? In yeah, Iron Maiden. yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruce Dickinson. Um, I also I, I own the essential Rob Halford collection oh. CD oh. at my house. Yeah, nice Rob haircut. Halford, great. Yeah, he's from that band Halford. <laughs> yes, Halford. And he Sons. got his start in that band Halford. <laughs> <laughs> so good, so good. Jesus, but, but thank you for that. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thanks everybody. Yeah, thank you, yeah, Danny. Thanks. Yeah. So I think that's uh, it's kind of what we've been playing. Been playing. Huh? Huh? Danny, do you say you you've been playing with your your daughter? Well, I play. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, uh, we have a Wii U. We don't have the 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 Switch yet, but uh, right. Um, you know, yeah. I just uh, would you like one? I would like one. Can I win it? No. Like, what do I have to do? <laughs> do I? Oh. Would you, but yeah, no. Like, no. I I guess. Um, yeah, we uh, we play games sometimes. Me and my daughter Tyler Joe, sometimes Isabel too. But yeah, the thing about playing games with your kids um it's a great uh family activity for the parent who doesn't really want to have to try very hard to be a parent <laughs> i was gonna say because that you can you. sit yeah. on the couch and you don't really have to pay attention to the kid the kid is by you you can say good job kid the video game um, is parenting your yeah the child. video game is actually the so you're playing you call of someone. duty uh no we 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 keep it a little bit you know like I we mentioned uh, Raymond Legends earlier yeah. any Mario game uh, Mario 3D World oh, um, damn it. Damn Mario it. Kart uh, Yoshi right. Woolly World or whatever the heck it is sure oh, I always um, wanted to play that one I only played that one a little bit oh. um, you know it said yeah um, uh, Donkey Kong. Tropical Freeze is another one. Oh my one god, you played all these That's games that I haven't one. played. Either. I yeah. have Jeez. that one. That's Jeez. one of my few Wii U games that I own. Yeah. Yeah, well, so I mean, awesome. for any parents out there that are trying to find a good activity to do with their kids where they don't really actually have to do anything, play video games with your kids. Yeah. They will bond with or you. Or watch them play video games. Or watch them. And drink beer. That's a great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, with, with parenting advice like that, I might actually want to have kids now. Yeah, that's I mean, I that's do. all you have to do. 
I mean, shit, man. I got a lot yeah. of games. Just I mean, they and, raise themselves. And they say, you know, you should let your kids go outside and all that. But, you know... It's dangerous. It's it is dangerous. dangerous. There's Especially, roads. Oh, there's roads. There's people there's out there. Predators. There's oxygen and trees. Coyotes. Fuck, scary trees. I saw a fox by my house the other day. Really? No. Oh my god. No, I just wanted. It to was add. actually a squirrel, but <laughs> it was a big. Squirrel. I like to pretend sometimes. But yeah, yeah. So that's you know, Michael but, J. Fox could games. show up at your house. I mean, yeah, Michael well, J. Fox. So. Speaking of Nintendo, guys. Nintendo. Do you know that NES classic that we talked about yeah, before? Yeah, I've on, heard of that. Yeah, 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 that's the internet thing. Yeah, that they talk about on there. You know how it, that was so really it was really hard to get. Uh, it was a failure of a the, thing. They kind of botched the whole pre-order process, and no one could get. You know, uh, mm-hmm. y- you had to pay like four hundred dollars for one. Well, it turns out this last week. Uh, last n- week, apparently. Pre-orders went live for the SNES Classic, oh, for so the I've Super heard. Nintendo version of All this. Right. Oh. Yeah, nice. and yeah, and Nintendo said they they weren't going to repeat past mistakes and, uh, <laughs> and make a were. lot. And uh, and I trust them. And they lied. I trust. I trust Nintendo. You. Don't ever trust Nintendo. I trust them. They don't, gave me joy when I was a kid. Don't ever 19, trust anyone whose 19, mascot has a mustache. In 1986 Ooh, or 87, Nintendo delivered under the Christmas oh, they tree. they delivered hard. Okay. Yeah. We'll give yeah, them that much. All right. Yeah. So yeah, the it's... SNES Classic went up for pre-order, although not that anyone would know because I guess... It was the, just random as shit. At like four in the morning? I think it was like... No, it was like... Nine ten at night, because I could have tried. I possibly could have gotten one from where. There was Amazon. There was uh, Walmart. There was. Was that the? What are you talking about? The first time it went live? Oh um, no, you're talking about. Okay, never mind. So continue with the first time when, when they, they accidentally. Up. Yeah, when the fucked up ones went. Okay, so, so the actual pre-orders went. Up. The actual pre-orders went live on this last week. I forgot what day, but. I mean, this went up at literally like three or four in the morning. Uh, Amazon or a couple of retailers, Amazon or Target, maybe I don't know. Uh, but it's yeah, they just fucking put it out there. They were gone in uh, you know just minutes and uh, not even. Yeah, I think it was like a minute. Right. Wow. And yeah, there you go. So it was just a fucking just a big middle finger from. From Nintendo to its fans. I mean, no forewarning. People that you know sign up for notifications Damn it, uh, for to like, hey, let me know when this is going to go into pre-order. I never got emails. You know, I just kind of like got thrown up just out of nowhere. Fuck and... Americans, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. thing I said about Nintendo delivering earlier, just yeah. a little while ago. Like, I I feel like I need to take it back because. They don't, know how to, yeah. they don't know how I, to deliver anymore. No. When I got when I got that Nintendo with the Duck Hunt and the Super Mario Brothers and my dad got the the golf. That was that was amazing. Golf. It was it was golf. Wow, you got golf. You got golf. Right on. It was just called golf. It was. Yeah. It was. Not fighting golf with no fighting. It was just called golf. It was just called golf. And, and I missed the little Was that what it was? Yeah, it was just, just golf. And it and it looked kinda like Mario. The golfer guy. He was a yeah. taller Mario. Yeah. Like a thinner. It was like Luigi, but Yeah, he still had a he still had a paunch though. It's yeah. the third yeah. brother who was forgotten. Golf Steve. Like, golf Steve. Yeah. yeah. It I it was definitely the creepiest Mario. <laughs> Steve like, Mario. <laughs> like it was the uncanny, like almost Steve human Mario. Brothers. Brothers is the last name, uh-huh. right? You got Mario Brothers, Luigi Brothers, and yes. Steve. And Brothers. Joyce. Brothers. Yes. Absolutely. Uh yeah, golf. Go check it out. Yeah, and I, I miss the, the, old, the old school black sleeve for the game. You know, you put the game in the black Nintendo sleeve. It protects the, the, the thing. Yeah. The cartridge. Yeah. 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 I like those, too. Yeah. I just, Sometimes you get the ones that were just black, and then, and then some, some had, had the, the Nintendo, Nintendo you get in the red. the Funko Land ones. Fuck the Funko Land ones. Funko Land. Don't. What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know what the hell you're talking oh. about. <laughs> just ridiculous. 
I'm sorry, guys. I I'm sorry, too. I threw the whole thing off track. You were talking about the SNES Classic thing. No, I, you know, I just kind of wanted to cover that because that was like the big, one of the big news stories uh, since we podcasted last. And um, I don't know if you guys have any thoughts on that. or I knew it was going to be exactly the same. Yeah. And it's going to be the same. And then they're probably just going to cut off and be like, well, let's do a Nintendo 64 run then. Of course. Yes. They already yeah. took yeah. out and the trademark for it. Motion. They did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. You think Mario the the Mario sixty four will be on there? Maybe uh, they might exclude that one. Uh, uh, I don't know. There was a few little things in that one that I would say they, if it's if it's sixty four, that should be the only game that's on there. Star Fox was good. I liked the Star Fox for the oh, sixty four. Oh, yeah, Tom, that was, fuck you! I'm just kidding. That was that was all right. I love it. Was that. okay. I love. I love the Rumble Pack. The first game I ever played. With Rumble, Rumble Pack. <laughs> I still have the he box. Likes that rumble. I yeah, like if you play that game and you keep the controller close to like your <laughs> air, like down here, you can kind of really feel the action. That's what I mean. You can feel the I, action of the rumble I, pack. I'm not understanding. You keep the controller on your lap. You can saying. feel the feel the rumble. He's feeling the where, rumble. Where? From the on the controller. So when you're playing, the game. yeah, you feel it. Rumble. Rumble. Yeah, on, on the your controller hands. and on your lap. Oh. Oh, you mean where I keep my do phone all the time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do a barrel roll. And the host roll. is somebody, actually. Yeah. Please, God. <laughs> please, somebody call me. Somebody do a barrel roll right now. <laughs> do a barrel roll right on my Fuck wiener. Fuck you, Slippy Toad. <laughs> Fuck off. That's the second time I flipped off the camera. I'm not flipping you yeah, off. Yeah, no. I'm angry today. I'm not flipping you off. Facebook Live shit. I, yeah. So. Dax got me riled. And I'm also riled about the whole damn SNES bullshit. Rawr. Because I actually was interested in playing Star Fox 2, which oh. is the first time that that game's going to be released yeah. in its full form. Oh, wow. But fuck you. I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to buy went a scalp on, version so of that the, so the, at all. Well, you, well so did you say that the first pre-order, you know, like, what two three weeks ago right. they did one yep and they said whoops canceled Walmart we, accidentally we fucked put up. it up yep so the second one yeah I actually almost got one up Amazon it was it said add to cart it really was like minutes probably four minutes after I'm sure it was gone after a minute sure um yeah all sold out Stupid. how did that how did that feel I didn't care that much okay yeah but I knew I can get one either way. And if I didn't want it, I could flip it like an asshole, like some of these assholes. Yeah. But I would have played it. Yeah. 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 I would have. I have a lot of yeah. these games already. So. I mean, yeah. Just like I, the I, NES classic. You can just buy a or buy a Raspberry Pi or something, you know. And Raspberry. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, I have all the the games already, and can play them if I wanted to. Yeah. But at the same time, it's kind of like I don't know. I like the that. front end. And to have it on HDMI too. Yeah, just to mm. hook it up okay. to the, hook to it the up TV. Hook it up to the doodly d. Now, do they still have control wired controllers, or did they update that and give you wireless controllers? And wired, they although wired. the okay. SNES Classic, they're longer than the three feet that came with the NES ask, Classic. Did, I think they're five like, feet now. Or something. I think that's the so. big, the biggest issue with the old systems is you've got like a six out. foot cord, and nobody sits that close to the TV. Right. Yeah. Really? And the, the NES Classic was notorious because they were really short. Yeah. They were like, ridiculously insane, short. Yeah. Insanely short. So they, well, that pisses me right off. Wow. Major turn Danny off. Danny J. Settle down. Settle down. Don't get an NES Classic. Let's try okay. the next beer. I'm angry. Is there another beer? There yeah. Grab the bearded iris, please. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm Ladies sorry. If gentlemen. you guys aren't, I'm, I mean, I'm not running the no. show. I don't want to no, throw fu- you guys off track. I just got really upset. No, I mean, you just totally threw a wrench into everything. Really Our whole fucking. I'm sorry, Josh. The flow just got don't interrupted. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to the people out there. I'm sorry. I know this is probably the last time you'll ever see me on this on this bearded uh, iris podcast. Oh <laughs> but thank you for the opportunity, and I'm sorry for ruining the show. Hey, you sit down. Yeah. You watch your mouth. All right, so this is a beer donated by our pal Saxon, Savat. He is our buddy Alex's brother who has donated to the podcast as well. He brought this. He physically brought this from Tennessee. What? Old Nashville. You're Uh, the only 10 I see, Josh. From a brewery called Bearded Iris. Yeah, it is. It's my mom's. And this uh, is a double dry hop, Chief of Chiefs. Chief of Chiefs. Chief of Chiefs, double IPA. 
All right. It's all and I know you IPA. don't it's like it. It's the IPAs I like. The doubles. I was going to say, doubles. this one is like comparable to, uh, for the Midwest, Toplin Goliath, Double Dry Hop, Pseudo Sue. So it's comparable Pseudo to Sue. that. Sue, Sue, yeah. Sue, Sue. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know there was a such thing as a double IPA. It's weird. You'd think it would be like twice as bitter. It's but no, not. it's they, twice they as they get smooth smoother. the more IPAs you add in. Oh. I'd love to hit, try a triple IPA. Wow. Because then uh, it probably ha- tastes like Miller Lite. <laughs> probably tastes like Miller Lite. That <laughs> is what a double IPA looks like. I mean, it's, like. it smells IPA as fuck right now. Uh, it's got that Oh, hopper God, it on. does. It smells, it it's smells, like, it smells like Christmas. Thank you, Saxon. Saxon? Appreciate. You're the man. I don't know you, but thank you. Yeah, Let's get, do it. Get that aroma and all that goodness. All right, all Jesus, right. Jesus, it smells like a pickle. All right. What you know about pickles? I don't know. Cheers, guys. Let's Cheers. get hoppy. Yeah, boom. Oh, it's got low aroma. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of going sledding. Juicy. I wouldn't call it that. I... Sledding? Yeah, like they <laughs> ground up a bunch of pine needles and shoved them <laughs> well, in my hit face. A tree. Yeah, like right. when you're sledding now, and you run into a tree. That are it reminds me of Sunny Bono. Pine needly, and these aren't usually these aren't these. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, it might be to you, but uh, Citra Mosaic Simcoe. Like Citra Mosaic are key. Is that your fraternity? Yeah, those are. <laughs> Major hop elements. Those are the kind of hops you want in an IPA. They're the best kind. Pretty I was going to say those are the best kind. Absolutely. I want to. I want to say it. It's quality. It tastes quality. It tastes good. But the yep. ta- the actual taste. No. I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, I think this is great. I mean, I. Thank you so much for providing this. I mean, beer. and think about the bitterness. It doesn't really mm. like. No. Attack you like you're not a typical. I don't IPA. feel the need to. You know, make a face. Yeah, you should like, though. Like, well, there used to be a commercial like the bitter beer face. Yeah. a long time ago. So right. About the, what was that Budweiser Coors or something like that? Yeah, the bitter beer face. Like, you don't necessarily have the the the, the need to make that face. I think I do. I still think it's. I don't know. It's still kind of gross to me, but. <laughs> <laughs> I think no. it's delicious. Uh, and I'll drink yours if you want. That's because there is something wrong with your brain. Deli- I think it's grossly delicious. No. No, you but think it's, it's... It's grossly delicious? Mm-hmm. It's in... No, it, it's definitely not the worst beer I've had. And uh, it is smooth, so... No. It, I, that's I, true. I like this beer a lot. Yeah. That's this true. This is how I like my IPAs. Yeah. I, I, like, I like this more than any, like... Yeah. Your traditional fucking bitter as fuck. IPA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I Unless expected something it. I to get over the hump myself, you know. I, I, yeah. My beer classes, I drink a lot of them, you know. And I've IPAs? Always, I've always had the attitude, I will try any beer. I will try it. Yeah. At least. Well, and, and drinking beer takes practice. I mean, it mm-hmm. does. I mean, I remember when I was in college trying to drink beer, and I thought it was terrible. And you just got to keep... That's true. You, you got to keep getting back on yes. that horse. You got to keep doing it. There was a time it. I thought beer tasted like shit, and I'm like, I'll just take a bottle of Jack. Yeah. And then... But that takes practice, too. Yeah. And then getting on the... That's because we're from Wisconsin, and as alcoholics, we like to get drunk. Yeah, well, getting on the whole waiting list for a new liver is kind of, you know, this is a soul-sucking process. Easy here. So... I hear Nintendo's offering pre-orders on livers. <laughs> <laughs> Sold out, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to hit add yeah. to cart. Too so, <laughs> okay. So, let, let's bring it home here. Uh, we were talking about Nintendo. And I thought it would be fitting now that uh, the Switch has been out now for a while. The new system from Nintendo. And it has been doing very well. It has. has it? Yes. Still can't find them at Walmart. You can't find them. I did find one at Walmart. I've seen them there. Yeah, yeah. Every once I always so, look. They're starting to get in the wild a little bit I more. Didn't buy one though, because so, I didn't want to. Yeah, there. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, I I was down <laughs> in Kansas. I found one on the the shelf when I was there. I was like, wow. I've never seen one in a store. I'll tell you what's wrong with me. That is what's wrong with me. What? The Wii U stacked on all those green <laughs> cartridges, looking like it's about to fall <laughs> over. So, kind of. So. Since <laughs> yeah, the Wii U. Since the Switch is now officially taken over, I figured we could give 
uh, our friend the Wii U the uh, the send off that it deserves and maybe uh, reminisce uh, the, the GTFO uh, Wii I think U. Unleash them. Players. I was thinking more of the dun 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 dun. dun <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. The gallows pole. But hey, you know, I'm not gonna say it was good or bad. But let's talk about it because Dan. Yeah. Out of all the systems out there, you actually have a Wii U. I do have a what? Wii U. What? Who has a Wii U? Yeah. I bought it right away. <laughs> I bought it right away when it came out. And fuck yeah, you did. Yeah, and. <laughs> and and the thing about it is you have this awesome uh, the the gamepad, and and you can actually uh, you can get Netflix on here, but you have to stay within about ten feet of the system itself. So if your kid wants to watch Netflix in the bedroom on the Wii U gamepad, you have as long as the room is within ten feet of the system, <laughs> you can watch it. Otherwise, or it gets bathroom. a little yeah you yeah. So do you put in the wall maybe to get it? In the yeah middle? yeah, but um. I mean, it was a weird system. It was it weird. Was, it was weird. I, yeah, there are some good games. Absolutely. Oh yeah, games. we'll we'll talk yeah. about that. But yeah, it was. When did you get nobody? Yours? The day when it came out. Really? Yep. I pre-ordered it like right away. Did you know I didn't know it existed for at least a year or so? That's really you did embarrassing. Say that before, yeah. That's Never really saw, embarrassing and, for you. For I you, think it's embarrassing for Nintendo. But, but you were like pretty much everyone else because nobody. Outside of like the I didn't hardcore know it was people, a thing. yeah, or I was they like, thought huh, they have a new system and it's called Wii U. I'm like, that's a stupid name, but how is it? Right, it, you know, and they use Wii controllers, so yeah. I mean, people were confused. Like, is way that more a... accurate than the Wii. I didn't think Wii was accurate. Well, you got the motion, the Wii Motion that's Plus, what I'm plus into yeah. the controllers at that point. Boy, that plus. Oh, yeah. boy, that plus. Um, but no, I mean, people didn't know if this was like the Wii U was like an add-on. Is it? Just, an expansion, and would you say that's a mistake with the naming? The, mm-hmm. I think branding. the name, it was, the branding, yeah. it was a branding mistake. It was not marketed well. It needs a whole. New, it can't be Wii anymore. It needs to be like Nintendo, or Wii even just 360, or just calling it the Wii Two, or like you Wii, know, yeah. Yeah. one, two, two, three, yeah, four, yeah, five, exactly. or like three, normal counting. Oh wait, you wouldn't call it Wii Three Sixty? Well, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't okay. call it that. <laughs> okay. I agree. I think Xbox like, was dumb. Dumb. 360. Yeah. I mean, come on. And their third system is yep. the Xbox One. That makes sense. Going backwards, right? Uh-huh. Back to one. Uh-huh. God uh-huh. damn it. So our boy came out in 2012. And they quit on it pretty Short, quickly. I think it was around Thanksgiving, because I remember. I got, yeah, we I got, got one for I was Christmas. Like, I got a Wii U. That's yeah. when, I think that's when most game systems come out. It was November. 2012. Yep, I got mine for the kids <laughs> for November. Christmas. November, yeah, yeah. And uh, I thought it was going to be a big, big success like the Wii, so I grabbed Huge one up success. right away. Great success. Great success. My name is... Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, so I got one right away, and then I just saw boxes and boxes of these things on the shelves. Right. Like, nobody bought them. Yep. So I took a chance and I bought one, because I haven't bought a Nintendo system since Nintendo 64 at that point. Yep. Um, Like, brand new, I'm saying. Uh, But, uh... I kind of like the concept. I think it looked very nice and all that, but uh, yeah, I mean, it was all like about they, the controller. It doesn't hold the battery. I mean, uh, it doesn't hold like this, peop- the charge. Yeah, yeah the yeah. charge. Uh, it doesn't hold the charge at all. Um, oh no, the battery life is horrible. Oh, it's got off four hours. So of, bad if that you're lucky. it's the worst. If you're ever. lucky. Now, and people want. There, there's people that give PS3 controllers crap. PS3 controller holds. it. Charge for a long ass time. I don't give a mm-hmm. shit what anybody says. Yeah, PS4 though, PS4 not as good. Mm. Uh, it's fine. Mm. I have four controllers, so I cycle through. Right. Well, that's because you're smart. Because you have <laughs> smart man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I do want to say this: this com- this controller is not overly comfortable in your hands. But the, the new the... controller, the new Switch. You know, it's obviously a modified, thinner, more yeah. comfortable version this of this. Ridge yeah, here, button layout's the same. The ridge here kind of, you know, f- 
for extended play, I found that finger fatigue Caressive. was a real a real issue. I'll give you finger fatigue. Yeah, um, but you're right because you can only yeah the fingers get tired after a while. You can only go hard for so long. Yep, you with can your, only go hard for so long. That's so you need to work out new... your fingers. You get a bowl of rice and yeah. you just dig your fingers in the rice, and your finger strength will get. Massive. Yes, I've seen that done by Shaolin monk. Ninjas, dudes, not ninjas. Yeah, monk. from the game Wonder Boy, but <laughs> but it does have a stylus that <laughs> nobody ever uses. Um, it, what were those phones called that had that? Oh the shit! The power PCs or the no, there are phones one. that had those. Oh, oh yeah, they were one. supposed to be like a trendy thing, and they did not last. Holy shit! It what? came on. It's on. It's on. Uh, what is it? How is that possible? I, I let the charger on. How is that possible? How is that possible? The system's not, not on. Yeah, the system's not on. How? It's alive. It's a it's ghost. It's, it's not going to die. I charged it because I haven't played Bayonetta We're 2, but I've okay. had the game okay. for a while, yeah. and I want to play it. Yeah, you do. I also picked up Mario Kart 8 for 15 bucks. which Holy Another shit. thing about Wii U that sucks, the shitty thing about Nintendo. All right, let's get sucks out of the way, and then we'll go to the good stuff. Old games never drop value if they're a Mario game. Okay. So they're is, always But is that a Wii U pro- is that a Wii U problem, Josh? It's is that Nintendo a Wii U problem? That's a Nintendo problem. Yeah. Mario Galaxy 2, $800. Eight, it's Mario still $800. Galaxy 1, $800. Still, but you get a Galaxy with it, but still it's like $800. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, their yes. video games don't drop in value at all. It's cuz that and Mario is a popular guy. And out right now. You go to Walmart, well, they have all the games still, 59.99, probably just going up. Yeah, I mean, I you know, you, you got to give Nintendo credit that their games are usually good. Yes. And they stand. I mean, they're not, they don't get dated as, you know, as quickly. They at least they're don't, our they style. They also don't have the quantity of games that PS4 and Xbox One has. So. That's because they're, they're stupid in a way. I mean, oh, you know, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. It, it's, you know, it's like, hey, we got Xbox, we got PS playstation it's like they're the same thing it's the third party guys they can go both ways they go both ways but they don't go the third way because they can't they have to make a whole new game yeah for nintendo part of it because nintendo doesn't have the balls and it never has the balls and it hasn't had the balls since the gamecube did it have the balls even when it was the gamecube i don't know i didn't have a gamecube gamecube had good third party support for a while they actually um, have a lot of games yeah they have more than i realized i mean i still don't like the resident GameCube. evil 4 was it a gamecube ex- exclusive um, oh god i no, love that's released. my favorite game ever i've ever played i yeah. think that's uh on a ps4 um do you have a house phone my phone's ringing no somebody's <laughs> my phone's ringing that? downstairs oh, it's my girlfriend she wants to know where, where i am I tom had a house phone she wants to know where i am oh your girl oh you're on the internet yeah, I can't. I don't have time. You can, you can talk to know. her through the internet. Why aren't you watching, Sarah? Girlfriend? If you're watching, <laughs> um, I'll be home in a little while. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> um, fourth yeah. What um, are you talking about? Yeah, uh, third party support. Yeah, yeah. The Wii U and no support. No, no support. third party support. No party. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Had a Mario Party. Yeah, I, I heard it wasn't Maybe. that great, but. I don't. Yeah, I've never played one of those games. So I love the '64 ones. Did anybody out there ever play a Mario Party? Because I uh, haven't. Yeah. Mario Party, two, one, two, three, all those. Oh no, those three. Yeah. I I played one at at one of the one of the stores at the mall, like a GameStop or something. I played the Mario Party for a second. It was the first one ever. Well, maybe not the. It sure. was first on, on '64. Bumper ball, yeah, but, baby. But 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 I'm I was expecting another Mario 64 type game and I'm like what is going on and I just got angry and I punched the the, the uh, okay so the, the the workers at the store swarmed me and they're like oh it's really fun if you I'm like fuck you <laughs> wow. this is not was what I what expected was is that Best Buy GameStop it was it was a it was a uh, one of the stores in the mall so I don't know right. it, at uh maybe Brookfield Square yeah. I don't know maybe GameStop or, sounded like maybe a GameStop. Scientology um, yeah Scientology <laughs> like stop like Chapel or something yeah <laughs> Tom Cruise, yeah, you gotta try this. No, Mario Party is a fun Mario game. Party. You gotta play with four people though, okay. or like three. You need that more than two people, so it's at a real party, kind of like right now. Right. Uh, I would you, consider. Or you this can a play party. by yourself and cry, just quietly sob your, to yourself. Yeah. Or you can be wishing happy. you had friends. I play it by myself because uh, 
you can play with the computer, and then the computer kind of sucks, so you just win. Yeah. Mm. So okay. go, yay. All right. Does anybody else have any negative things to say about the Wii U? When you start because talking about more positive stuff, I'll start talking about Because more I think we stuff. should celebrate. It's hard for me to say. We yeah. should. I enjoy. We no, should I enjoy. No. This is a celebration yeah, of life. You guys can, but I'm just going to chill. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Celebrate the death of the Wii U. I have I have some good memories from playing the Wii U. I, I enjoyed uh, Super Mario U. Or sure. whatever it was. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the Bowser like battle at the end. I thought it that was, was a good one. I thought it was really great that Bowser turned into a shell and went back and forth like right. all the other yes. end guys, as I used to call them, before I learned that they were called bosses. The end, yeah. the the end, end guy. guy. End, the end, end guy. guy. Folk. <laughs> yep. So, I, yeah, I had some good memories with my Wii U. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I guess I did. Yeah. 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 I... I, I liked how it, tri- it had a TV button, and then for like three months, it tried to tr- control your TV and then give you like a little schedule, you know, of what was playing. And I never let that try to. Well, I never let it try to control my TV. Some bitch. I I I just did it yeah. once. Um, but yeah, no. I let's talk about the games because I think talking about the system itself yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about the games anyways. Okay. So but I think we can all agree that the system was a bit of a miss. It's okay. But it's still endearing. It's okay. I, mean, I mean, even though it's laying here in front of us and we're talking to it, you know, you we're kind of just disrespecting it to you its face. Stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Kind of. I mean, I do like some games on it. Yeah. But you're a bitch, Nintendo, for quitting on it so early. But you have to you you can you cannot deny that it did not have some really good games. Okay. It didn't have the largest library, but I would say it probably had yeah, I think, a pretty it, strong first un, party under library. Th- oh, under yeah. three hundred games, I guess. Was it? I think really? so. Okay. I think. That probably. Maybe. Um, Nintendo sixty four was like two ninety six. Oh. Nobody noticed. Nobody noticed. That's yeah. not a very big library. It's not. No. Nope. Compared to like, like, like PlayStation, with yeah. its rival, who had like almost two thousand games. Oh, right. Wow. Uh, it's a lot of games, Josh. It's a lot of games. It's a lot of Danny. games. Don't and get me into that now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and I think I think it's worth talking about the uh, the attach rate for some of the games that came out for the system. Uh, where if you, I think like Mario Kart had a uh, an attach rate of, I think half the people that own Wii U's like bought. Mario Kart. I finally which is, added that to my list. Which is insane. Because mm-hmm. that this this thing sold like shit. I think it sold what twelve, five thirteen copies. million. I mean the the oh. system, but they sold like five million copies of Mario Kart. You know what? You know what? Which is um, you, no other games like fucking sell. Like, I would not be surprised if this system ends up becoming like worth a chunk of change. I was thinking the same thing because that's. Yeah. I mean, you think about the quantity of copies of like, or I mean, the quantity sold of consoles. That's not a lot. Mm-hmm. You look at like no. I'm sure if you look at the numbers PS4 and Xbox One has, you're like, well, shit, they're a dime a dozen. Oh yeah. You can yeah. hop on Facebook Marketplace right now and probably get one for a pretty damn cheap price. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I mean, just a few more million than the, the Dreamcast, really. I was going to ask about the Dreamcast. Yeah. yeah. Which I really like more than this system. Oh yeah, Dreamcast is my so good. Systems. So good. I like so good. Dreamcast. Um. But so yeah, it did have a you know when they when Nintendo would release a good game, uh, it definitely had a good following and uh, uh, a lot of people a lot of interest. That's because... what surprised me because the Wii sold so many. Yeah, that was like crazy. an insane quantity. Yeah, I was not on board on the Wii because of the inaccuracy before the Wii. I never played Wii Motion Plus mm-hmm. at the time, so I played yeah, the regular. It's a little I, I thought it was very like not accurate yeah. I'm like, and I it thought, wasn't uh, to me no, it was wasn't. unplayable yeah um, until they got the plus figured out and then when this came out I started playing games on this some Wii games on this and you know that's, yeah. that's a plus you can play Wii games on that I think I played more Wii games on the I have Wii U more Wii games <laughs> than I did no, Wii U games I have yeah. 9 Wii U games I have probably 15 20 Wii games right so yeah well hey Let's talk about some of the games. Sure. Huh? Go on. All right. Er. 
some of my favorites. I don't know if you guys got some of your favorites. <laughs> oh, oh no. Tom. I, I didn't Tom. bring a shit. Mm. I don't know what Tom. You probably have all the ones that I have. Yeah, they're all the same they're ones probably, that I have. They're pretty, probably pretty similar. Oh, I don't um, have Bayonetta, though. Oh. That's not for the kids, necessarily. No. You got to hide that one in, under your pillow. Yeah. Like, under your bed, bed yeah. pillow so, er- case. So we had Bayonetta 2. Uh, I have that one. Whoops. God Damn it. I know you don't like the Wii U either. I know. Tom. I'm sorry. So oh, Bayon- Bayonetta 2. This was kind of a, a big surprise uh, for this system. because yeah, Why would it get that? Because Bayonetta came out for Xbox and PS3. Uh, yeah. And the first one. And somehow they got Bayonetta 2 as the exclusive. And Yo, you got the one that was exclusive this, for the Wii U? I think this copy yeah. is worth like a lot more. You should sell that and then buy the regular copy. Oh, really? Yeah, I think that's worth like 80 bucks. Cause it, oh. it includes... Anybody want to buy a copy of Bayonetta? Yeah. It comes uh, with the original Bayonetta. Yeah, does. mine doesn't have the original Bayonetta. Oh, well, shit, man. Yeah. Shit. Oh, my God. Wow. Um, so this Knowledge is, is wow. power. Yeah, so th- this is the rare mature game that was released uh, exclusively for, for uh, Wii U. Platinum game. It's a, just a fucking uh, stylish action uh, game. Uh, I don't, if you ever played Bayonetta, if you haven't played Bayonetta, you need to. Um, and th- this game got a lot of good reviews. I kind of just trudged through it, but it's just fucking one of those games where it's just insane. You're this chick who's... Uh, Fuck yeah. Tom, Tom loves playing as a chick. I do. Like, yeah. I've been doing a lot of that, like I said. Yeah. But you're, uh, you, you're, you're naked, except your clothes are your hair. Yes, I've do, heard that. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. And she's very, very, uh, I don't want to say, it, she's very confident in herself. Ooh. Do you ever find yourself feeling feelings when you play the, play the game? Sometimes I want to have that, that talk with you. Yeah. My health teacher says to talk to you. Yeah, and yeah. That's, that's okay to feel that way. Okay. It's okay. Great. Good. Um, what was I going to say? So yeah, Bayonetta two, one of my favorites. There, um, we're gonna there. put that there. I just dropped a bunch of games on the floor. So yeah, yours does have Bayonetta one and two. That's what a dick. amazing. I don't even yeah. have Bayonetta. I've never played either. One. Really? Bayonetta one was like free uh, for Xbox the last month, I think, for the uh, games of gold. I'm not an Xbox Live guy anymore. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, next. Super Smash Brothers. Huh? 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 You borrowed that to me. I played it a handful. Yeah. Um, but, like, you really do need four people, I think, playing it. To make it fun. fun. I mean, it, it's fun to unlock. Uh, there's, like, 50 fucking fighters. There's a total lot now. of characters. And this is a game that spawned the, uh, the Amiibo madness. Mm. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They made Amiibos for every character in the game, and then if, you know, if you scan them, you get special moves or costumes. Smart, smart money upgrades. Scheme Nintendo. However, yes. I do like action figures. So yeah, you yeah. do. You do. Yeah, uh, I, I, I do too. I, yeah, I dabbled in the amiibos yeah. for a little while, and then I got out, got some help. So Super <laughs> Smash Brothers. I mean, this game is inevitably going to come out on Switch as our. Either most of these games have already come out on the Switch um, so far or will in the future yeah. just because, yeah. you know. Yeah. Nobody has a Wii U. Nobody has a Wii U. So you they, can't waste the game. No, you can't. And there's some really They're good, good games. games. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, Mario Kart 8, one of them. Is that, that, is that out on the Switch now? All yeah. Right. Yes, it is. Mario Kart 8. Deluxe. Deluxe. Yep. Okay, yeah. They didn't want to actually make a new Mario Kart, so their lazy asses just added some shit and I'm it sure Deluxe. they're working on one. I'm yeah. sure Mario they are. Kart this is definitely Switch. This is definitely one of the games I played the most uh Wii U games. Um if you don't have a Switch, you know, this is a good way to play Mario Kart. There's a lot of DLC you can get. Uh, since they released the DLC, game. that's a band from the '90s. Um, I think Beyonce was in that. I, TLC? DL- DLC. DLC. Cooter. <laughs> sorry, go on, Tom. Sorry, I'm sorry Beyonce. for. Come on, guys. I'm trying to trying to do this here. Yeah. You're not <laughs> sorry. Did you guys play Mario Kart? 
Oh, uh, absolutely. I never played the new one, but I just bought it. Like, you never played the new one? I just bought it a few days ago. Josh! It no, it's $15. It's good, it, it is really good. It's a, it's a big step up from the Wii Mario Kart, I think. I think It's my favorite this, Mario yeah, Kart. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a very the, pretty looking game, and it's fun. It the, is. The original Wii Mario Kart so made me go, this shit is so inaccurate. Oh really? Yeah. I oh, I was surprised. I, 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 I guess like I all. guess I felt pretty good about the yeah. uh, motion control steering of it, but to tell you the truth, that was the first Mario Kart game I really played. Really? And I feel oh, ashamed shit. to say that. Nice. <laughs> I did a lot of the uh, Mario Kart sixty four. Yeah. A lot of people did. I love yeah. the Super. I love the first one. The first one? Yeah. 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 I mean, it was a good technical showcase <laughs> for the technical SNES, showcase. which is also showcase. a game on the SNES Classic, which none of us will be getting. <laughs> How amazing is Did that? Did that use the uh, fine. FX chip, coming. or was that just Star Fox used the FX chip? Which is another way of saying it's fancy, you should buy it. Yeah. And uh, it, it I'm was, sorry for... It was a thing, though. Yeah. The they FX did chip? have whatever they used, they It used was able more. to make more yeah. 3D-looking oh, yeah. graphics, for sure. If you sure. look at, uh, what, Yoshi's Island? Or? Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country looked gorgeous on, oh, on, yeah. the, on the Super Nintendo. Two. Yeah. yeah. It was good. Those games aren't the great. They're okay. Tom, Tom's dumb. fuck you. They're Thank <laughs> you. Hey! Donkey Kong Country All right. 2 is the best game on the Super Nintendo. Thank you. Bye. Oh, God. God, I feel like I keep throwing a wrench in this and getting us off track. Oh, and like, yeah. And I'm getting hungry. I like want to go eat soon. And Ooh. this podcast just keeps going on and on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Tom, you're saying let's sorry. wrap this up. Oh, wow. Jeez. No, uh, no, sorry. I, this on. is important stuff. I've always wanted to this play this stuff. game. Yeah. Okay. The Mario Maker? Play Mario Kart 8. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Mario Maker. I've n- I have it. It's still in the package. <laughs> You've never played it? Is it? I've never played it. I've always it wanted to play it. Yeah. It's, never it's good. Have. I've n- had never had any desire to make the Mario in this game. I just want to play people's shit. Yeah. yeah. You can make Mario levels in this Oh, and you can play levels. other people's levels. Yes. So, okay. And that's so the that's, part that's that I more that you, Yeah, okay. Because people okay. make some really just, yeah. just hellish you, you levels. You can see some crazy videos where people are just bopping and hopping and hitting shells and never touching the ground for like a solid minute. Yeah. It's insane. Ridiculous. It's, it's fucking crazy. But, um, I mean, just the way it's designed, even when you do try to make levels, it's really intuitive. It's one of the only uses that they made that actually justifies the use of the the gamepad, uh, the screen. Did you get it to use with, the stylus? With the stylus. Oh, yeah. wow. And then when you move it around, move stylus. You know, stylus. you select, uh, you know, blocks or what enemies you want to place. And then, like, if you select, like, a cheap cheap or something you want to put it in, like, there's this little voice that goes, cheap, 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 cheap. That goes oh, along wow. with the music nice. that's playing in the background. It's cute. It's cute. Uh, I do recommend this. Um, you know, if you're not into making your own levels, it's okay. But just uh, oh. playing other people's levels is a lot of fun. And I don't know. I haven't played it in a while, so I don't know if they still have the servers up where people can. If they, they better. Don't. That'd be yeah. fucking lame. But you, you make your own levels, and you can upload them. Uh, to the internet and other people can play your levels and uh, people, people from them. all over the world all over the midwest even canada and the world yeah Seriously. although i don't know that for sure i haven't been on there but so how about this game tom um this one was a launch game this is new super mario brothers u uh it's all right it's it's a decent mario game i liked it I want to say something about that. There was there Please was a, one level that uh, has like a Vincent Van Gogh style background. Starry night, and I yes. thought that was beautiful. That was the only, yeah, that was awesome. The rest of it was lazy. And it, and it, it seemed was like lazy. A, it seemed like an anomaly because I'm like, why do you put so much effort into this? You should yeah. put this kind of effort into like all, all the, the levels. levels. Yeah, like uh, I mentioned, uh, Raymond Legends earlier. There are beautiful backgrounds in that game. Yeah, um, it it shows off what the Wii U can do as far as like horsepower and like it's pretty backgrounds. I feel like they really missed the mark with this one aside yep. from that. And I don't think uh, you're alone in that. Starry night level. Yep. I feel the same way. And with Mario maker, you can make uh, levels that look exactly like uh, this, this style mm-hmm. of game and you wouldn't be able to, you know, tell the difference, tell the difference really. 
So I enjoyed it. I thought it was very simple. I liked I it, and like I said, I wanted a yeah. simple side-scrolling Mario, and there's it's obviously more than just side-scrolling. Yeah, so. I like yeah. I said earlier, I really enjoyed the the final Bowser battle. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, um, but it, it ain't no Mario three. It ain't no Mario World. No, hell no. No. Hell no. No. Hell no. God damn it. Okay. Street. Hey. But this Mario game, oh my god. Mario 3D World? Yeah. It's probably one of the most underrated Mario games That's a great ever. I don't like cats. You like these cats. That no. was a Have you that, played it? Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. an amazing yeah, Bowser yeah. battle. That was that a was a surprising awesome exciting Bowser battle yeah. at the end. I don't know if we can spoil it. Yeah, but, we don't uh, want to spoil it, but if you haven't played the game, play the it. game. Fuck it. It's Wii U. <laughs> you got Nobody has a Wii U. Spoil it. Well, it's probably going to come out on Switch, so. Uh, but anyways, let's say the whole cat theme kind of gets Cat theme carries over. Carries over to the yeah. Bowser battle and it's Man, uh, pretty sucks. sweet, but I really like this game a lot. It's uh, isometric, so it looks like kind of top down ish. Mm-hmm. You can play four uh, players at the same time, yeah. which causes fights yeah, with the kids. It gets hard. The kids like, get angry because other. the kids get angry right, because yeah. wait for me. And then they, one's going and one's not, and then you get further and further away, and you're like this big. That's when you start disowning them. Yeah, um, I will say though one thing that I I felt like they. One thing they did well with this game yes. uh, was they made 3D Mario easy. It was mm-hmm. easy to play this. Yeah. Compare, comparing it to Mario 64 yep. uh, and Galaxy, which is a more complicated control scheme. Yeah. Um, for kids, you could still, you didn't have to use the analog stick. You could still use the D-pad, um, which made it easier for that's, the kids. Yeah, that's right. Um, although I told my kids, you're going to have way more control if you use the analog stick. Why are you so stupid? Well, she's my thumb's too small, Dad. And I say, I don't fucking Why care. Don't you- <laughs> Um, Why don't you grow up? Go to college yeah. already, fucker. I don't fucking care. But uh, These but are yeah, your kids. It, yeah, Stop and and they did a good job of of going between. Yeah, it's it, it easy three D, but it was there was also some challenging more, platforming. Yeah, it was also it was there was challenging platforming. the The other thing about this one though was it was definitely it was not open world at all. It was like this is the direction you go. It wasn't three D, but this is the direction you follow. Where uh, Mario Galaxy, like you could go any direction. Like this one is like right. it's three D. It's a fixed camera. Yeah, it's yep. yeah. I mean, it's three D. It's but like it's, this is the. Yes. There's one route through every yeah, level. Yeah, it's not for like sixty four Galaxy. Where yeah. it's just like fixed. Which I personally you. liked more. Okay, like, it's, I liked the the more exploratory. Story. Then you're gonna uh, love Super Mario Odyssey that comes out oh, yes. October 26. I don't that looks really cool. Yeah, I can't wait for that. I'm not gonna cool. get it. Yeah, because Josh is a fucking dick, isn't he? Look at him. But he's cute, I, isn't he? He is. Look at him. <laughs> oh, so yeah, uh, Mario 3D World definitely a must play. Uh, this one is for sure coming out on Switch. They haven't announced anything, but. You can bet Tom your says freaking, so. You can bet your bippy. Your yeah, sweet you can bet your book bippy. bippy. Um so Dan. Yeah. Did you bring any games that you'd like to share? Some of your faves? <sighs> well, um I, I, I will say Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze. Hi, Brian. I haven't played that. Is a good game. I I I haven't I haven't played it a lot, but okay. I have played it with the kids and I've heard um, it's good. It's and it's a cheap game, and it was cheaper when it came out. But I also heard it's very challenging. It is challenging. Yeah. I really liked it, though. Yeah, and for some reason, you know, like, uh, what was it? I played on the uh, system. The nice. Super Mario games are, are what? 60 bucks for the Wii U? They, or they were? Yeah, they were 60 And this one was 40 or 50 It was, t- like, 10 bucks cheaper oh, when it was released. So is, I, remember when they finally, 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 like, three years later, had a, a, their greatest hits for the Wii U's? Yep. So 3D World, Donkey Kong Country Freeze, and then like a lot of Nintendo Wii games. So, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. But that was one of them that I picked yeah. up. So it was twenty bucks when I bought it. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Raymond like Legends is also a good game, and this is one. Ubisoft. Uh, yeah, it's it's nice. It's kind of. Ubi. I don't. Can you beat this game? I don't know if that's even possible. Like, I don't know. I, 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 you I just. Hope you so. can just go and go and go and play and play and play and you can it's like I haven't spent a lot of time with it but my kids have and it just seems like you can go to any level anytime anywhere you 
have oh, to really? kind of unlock. I mean, don't Is take it like my word an for that. Map and then you no, select... it's like you go through doors. There's like okay. doors, and then you've got like a row of levels. I mean, and you do have to unlock them. Yes, but what uh, the? it's we it, it's and it does make use of the gamepad somewhat. Yeah, the the screen, the touch screen, which is that's cool. It's know. always nice when they could justify it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. otherwise it was just a way to. Oh, you want to watch TV, honey? Okay, I'm, gonna I'm just going to play on the. Yeah, 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 and that I mean that does come in handy. Oh yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, and I don't think I have anything other th- uh, else uh, unique that you haven't shown already. Okay. So yeah, there's a, there's a bit of crossover. There's crossover. Um, uh, Oh, uh, oh Yoshi's, Yoshi's Woolly World. I've this is this is graphically is a very cool looking game. I know. I've always wanted to play that. Just um, for that and I and, and like I haven't spent much time with it. I mean, I played it with the kids a little. You hate bit. yarn. I yeah. This is game I, where something looks like it's something happened. Yarn, right? with my my grandma used a lot of yarn, <laughs> and now she's in the Kirby's nursing home. Epic and, yarn. and and, and so yeah, hot. Kirby. I never played Kirby's Epic Yarn, but I heard that was a good <laughs> game also. But the whole yarn theme yeah. does make me a little nervous. <laughs> it's tickly on your skin, on your face too. It yeah. is so, itchy sometimes. Yeah. yeah, Mario Maker never opened it. Did you get to kill Yoshi, make him into mittens. That'd be cool. One of most mm. underrated games for the Wii U. What? I didn't bring it, but Super Luigi U. Oh, from the year of one. the year of Luigi, and it's dumb. It's dumb. <laughs> I hated well, just like it. I was Luigi. so angry. I was so angry because it is the exact same game as this. It's me, Luigi. It's is the it? exact same game as this. Really? Why? What? There's no new worlds. It's just the same levels, but Luigi can jump higher. What I mean, there's yeah, nothing new. I don't he think just... there's really anything new. He doesn't like. Jerk off of her Goombas or well, something? Well, maybe there are. Maybe there like I, it's been so long since I've played it, but I don't know. graphically it all looks the same. The you worlds look the same. Like me. maybe the level. Yeah, I think the levels are different, but they have all the same backgrounds. There's no new graphics. There's yeah. no new worlds. They're the same worlds. No but, new worlds. But it's yeah, it's it's just too much more of the same. And Luigi can jump higher and right like, like Mario but, two. Mario two. Yeah. yeah. And but do his feet jiggle? Weird. I, you know, I think they do. Good. It's been so long since I played it. Like, don't take my word for the for any of this. Don't ever. No. I just know that it's graphically, all lies, graphically, it's like the same it's the map same, yeah. and yep. yeah, like same map overhead map, and the levels are, you know, whether they're different, I don't remember, but they've they're graphically the same. They're just like Fuck. rebuilt versions Luigi. of the levels. Goddamn Luigi! And it's like I wanted a new the Mario levels. game. I, but I'm sorry that happened to you. Yeah, it did. It happened to me. I. I actually felt like a failure as a parent because I got it for my kids uh, oh, as separately? a present. Yeah, because now it comes together. It. Now yeah. it comes together. Now they come together. Now they don't come at all. No, now they don't come <laughs> no. at all. Whoa! <laughs> I don't even know what that. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Wow. It was okay. only a thirty dollars game, I think, if I remember. Correctly. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't that much, but yeah. So, Meh. there you go. There's some of our greatest uh, Wii U <laughs> hits. Yeah. I think that. Only Covers Mario the, games. That's it. Yeah. And Bayonetta. Uh, yeah, that's it. Breath of the Wild was the last major release. I, Zelda. Of the Wild. Which was supposed oh, yeah, to yeah, be yeah. a Wii U title. But and then, like, we have to catch up here. We were already behind when we made the Wii U. Right. So. We want people to play this game. So, uh, yeah. We'll make it for Switch as well. And that is a, that is a game. I've, I've told is I've been game. told that, that Where do you think the Wii U would be if they didn't make a switch? Do you think it would have climbed back on with the with Zelda? Mm, no. I don't no? think anybody would have bought nope. it. Again I think it was a dead in the water, yeah. but I don't think there would have been I a switch without every, a Wii U. Everyone who had a Wii U probably would have bought Zelda. That I mean that didn't have switch of course. It switched Well, everyone that yeah, which would have sold yeah. you what 12 million copies and you know, if the, even if everyone bought a console, I think or, there's people that would have bought the console. There's a lot of Zelda fans out there. That's so. true. Yeah, but I don't think it would have resurrected it. But yeah, you're not gonna sell anymore. I don't know. You maybe get a little bump in, in the games sales, don't but look you much different to me. And Switch to Wii U. No, I mean it's no. roughly this. It's a little more powerful, but not much. And they more. did that on purpose. But well, it's a portable system, you know. So it's still the most powerful handheld. Oh, is it? Yeah. Ever I, made? Yeah. Yes, uh, but uh, I, yeah. I don't know. There's still a the Game Gear out there. So Game Gear. Game Gear. Sega Game. We need Gear. to bring back the Game Gear. 
and uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, goodbye, Wii U. Goodbye, Dave. goodbye, sweet, Brian sweet Brian. Wii U. It's... Later, Wii U. You've been gone for a while. Yeah, <laughs> we just decided, hey, we didn't need to pour a little liquor or uh, some double IPAs for you. I will remember you, Wii U, always. I still have one, so I don't really have to remember it. I just can still experience it. You can. But, yeah. Because the kids play it, you know? The kids do. They do. Kids. Do it but for I the can't, kids. Because I have a PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, so I can't play it. No. I can't. You can't, you can't bring yourself to, to play it. Because there's a lot of other stuff on yeah. those systems. That's this is your Wii U, though. Let's, my, let's be real. It's my Wii U. This I yours. own this yep. failure of a system. You can tell he hasn't played it much because it's all shiny. <laughs> right. Especially the gamepad is like all shiny and there aren't any fingerprints he on it. He took it out of the box for the first time Yeah. for this uh, yeah. episode. So, All right, Wii U. <laughs> we hardly knew ye, but yeah. we, had a good, we had some Get good times together. Get the fuck out of your Wii U. It's cool. Can we throw it on the ground? No. Office okay. space style? <laughs> yeah, put on some just fucking ghetto boys. Stomp that bitch. Right. Nintendo sponsors it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I think that's been an episode. Hey, sure. For now. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching my show. I want to thank Josh and Tom for Danny, coming out. Danny, no, yeah. Thanks for having <laughs> us. Uh, where can people get a hold of you? What are you doing? Like, I'm working on a new project. Okay. Um, so why don't you tell the people what right. you kind of do? All right. So I I write comedy rock song. And I say it that way because I've wrote one. <laughs> but no, okay, so I wrote a song once. It's called Striker. I think on the episode when Sonic Clang was on, you actually busted we, out the old We actually song. watched, though. We had director commentary. Yeah, yeah. so I want to yeah. say Sonic Clang fucked me. <laughs> he left me alone. He left me in this big, scary world all by myself. How and do I... I don't know what to do. I don't know how to write music without him. We've been partners in crime since... Dude, I was in middle school. He that fucker right left me. <laughs> what? And uh, Jeez, so hear you. my my what I'm what I'm doing is I'm gonna I'm gonna make a documentary. Good. I don't want to say it's a mock documentary because it's mostly true about how my life basically fell apart since Striker. Yeah. And um, we so should. you can you'll be able to that's it's gonna be a YouTube series. You'll be able to check it out on the YouTube. Um, I think my username is like Danny J or something. I don't know. I should probably know that if I want to promote it. <laughs> yeah. Um, Danny J or something. War- yeah, don't like subscribe. Warrior, uh, Warrior Squadron, it does not exist anymore. Okay. Fuck um, you, Warrior Squadron. Yeah, Warrior Squadron. Part of that band. You were. And, and Warrior Squadron still lives on. We're still the Warrior Squadron. <sighs> okay. Uh, but, okay, good. Yeah, so don't worry. Um, but, Christ. Yeah, I'm going to do a, do a series on YouTube, and it's just going to, you know, hopefully. I'll be able to climb out of my funk by kind of using this series as like a stepping stone. Like I just got to yeah. Sonic Clang was my muse and my, and my mentor and right. my friend and, and he just sometimes he left more you. and he left me. He 86 to you. Yeah. He's on a desert so, Island. So yeah, I'm just trying to, uh, what a fucker. Trying to, to trying to move on, trying to move past it, and uh, shit. So there will be a we series. You, I uh, episode one is, uh, you know, we're getting ready to shoot that. Um, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I so it's really be, looking forward to it. I I think I got. I think you guys. I want you guys to be involved too, as much as possible. You know, shit. do what we can. Yeah, like any help that that you guys can. You know, we're good at helping. I yeah. do great foley work. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't know either. Yeah, I don't know either, but. What a, Okay. But I do the best. I just want to thank the internet, too, for being here today with us. Thanks, internet. Thank you. Thanks, Mom. Thanks. And on that note, uh, this has been Hair of the Dogcast. Thank you for attending. Josh, where can they get a hold of us if they need to? On the telephone, of course. That's right. Yes. <laughs> the rotary phone. Dogcast <laughs> 7. Uh, <laughs> You can email us at hairthedogcast at gmail.com. Hotmail.com. Yes. We have yeah. a Twitter. <laughs> at hotdogcast. Follow us. Yep. Um, and our website, hairthedogcast.com. I think that's... Uh, yeah. 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 So on, follow us, like us on the Facebook as well. Yes. And uh, spread the love to the others. That'd share, be great. Share our videos. Uh, Let us know. Let us branch out. Yeah, please do that. iTunes. Yes, give us some uh, reviews. Some reviews please. would be great. Um, let us know if there are any topics you want us to cover. You know, we're always yeah. looking for uh, good, uh, good topics for the show. And we accept uh, uh, 
beer and yeah, uh, beer donations. ideas and donations, especially donations. Yeah, you we can't have you. enough of that, really. You can't beer or donations. No, or the kids. We're doing it for this is for dance the kids. kids. <laughs> we love all you. Yeah. But anyways, all right. From here, the dogcast. I'm Tom. I'm Josh. And Danny J, yo. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Right. Thank you guys so much. We're going to go on live now. Bye, Internet. Nice or hangout. are we? I don't know. Surf's I, up, I can't, Wisconsin. I can't press the button. Yeah. I don't know ah! what the button is. Ah! It's not going to work. That? We're still live. We're, We're still go. live. Damn it. Keep ah! going. Help, help. Hey no, we got to go. We're still live. We're still live. Oh, Josh is going to get oh, out no. the, the weights. Oh, no. Josh is going to get out the weights. <laughs> the <still> weights. <laughs> Josh is going to get out the weights. Because <laughs> my mouse isn't working. <laughs> All right. I got to escape. Everybody. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you for having me. Later. Bye, guys.